year's World Championships, despite the fact she was the number four seed, hasn't recovered from knee surgery yet. So our next match, our ninth match of the day, is women's singles, and it features the number 13 seed Mia Blickfeld of Denmark up against Nislihan Yeet of Turkey. Now this women's singles will be from the right at the bottom of the top half of the draw, so the second quarter of the draw, and we can see already that the 2018 bronze medalist, Herbing Xiao, the number eight seed, is already through uh, to the third round, as indeed uh, you can see Han Yue. I was telling you, Carolina Marin, the number four seed, has withdrawn, so well walkover for Han Yue. So, Miss Lihan Yeet is a player that has improved considerably, I think, over the last few years. But I can tell you this will be a third meeting between these two yeah, players and the previous two black. encounters have both been made, won black. by Mia Blickfeld. The last black. was at the European Stay. Women's Team Championships last year. Yes, sir. And it was a thrilling encounter because Mia Blickfeld lost the opening game. She was then 11-17 down, 15-19 down, saved two match points before she eventually won 23-21 and 21-12 in the deciding game. So if we have a match that's half as good as that previous one, and then we're in for a real treat. It was very tough to see anything about the toss okay. so I, I can't really help you on you it can't tell me nope. don't worry so Mia Blickfeld is 24 years of age five foot eight and a half and she's currently 14 on the world ranking but did spend four weeks at number 11 across two different spells the European Games gold medalist in Minsk in Belarus two years ago beat Kirsty Gilmore in the final. Also been a medalist at the European Championships. In fact, the European Championships here in Huelva three years ago. So as a seed, she had a bye in the very first round. So no first round match for Mia Blickfeld. Uh, but she is making her fourth appearance at the World Championships. And she did actually reach the quarter final at the last World Championships in Basel. Nestle Han Yit is 27 years of age, born in Osmangazi, and she is enjoying her seventh week in total, second spell at her career high of 28 on the world ranking. She, like her opponent, is participating in her fourth world championship, but unlike her opponent, this is the first year that she's progressed past the first round. And in the first round, she beat the C Games, the Southeast Asian Games gold medalist, Kasonya Silvadure of Malaysia. Two straight games, 14 and 15 in 37 minutes. So at the last World Championships, as we look at our court officials, who are from Italy and Botswana, uh, just to tell you that that quarter final that Mia Blickfeld had at the last World Championships, she lost out to the now Olympic champion Chen Fei, who was bronze medalist at the Basel World Championships, but only lost in three games. But in the third round, she had beaten Saina Nawal, who has twice won World Championship medals silver and bronze. In fact, she had to save two match points against Sina Nawal in Basel.
Ladies and gentlemen, women right, Mia Blickfeld, Denmark. Number left, Neslian Iggy, Turkey. Mia Blickfeld to serve. Level play. Lompar Chiapini calls for play to get underway. Mia Blickfeld, the number 13 seed from Denmark, nearest to us against Neslihan Yeet of Turkey. Now, first of all, Morton, One, I need a medical love. update, if, if I may. Have you heard about the jumper's knee that Mia Blickfeld has struggled with I, of late? I've heard it's, it's getting a little bit better. Yeah, Two, good. Um, love. But I'm, I'm not sure how mentally strong Mia Blickfeld is. Uh, she's, uh, she's been struggling lately, I think, so if she's experiencing a, a, a difficult time in a match and against her expectations, she might uh, lose quite a lot of confidence. So it's, it's, it's really a very, very, very important match so it's to over. Mia Blickfeld. One, yeah. Much, much more than we two. think. Yes. Right. Well, when you say, you know, struggling psychologically, has she had a crisis in confidence or...? Yes. Yes. Exactly. And, and I think the worst case was actually at the uh, Denmark Open when she lost to Clara Asomendi from, yeah. uh, from Spain. Yeah. I, I think that was when we really, really saw it. Yeah. And uh, she was just a shadow of herself. Yeah. Ava Mindy, One, two. I think lost earlier today, didn't she? Uh, today or yesterday, I can't oh, remember. Okay. She's lost first round. Yeah, well, it must have been... Uh, yes, it can't have been today. And I completely concur with you that uh, Nestle Hanigi so, has over. really improved a lot. Yeah. Three. And, and I think the fact that she's finally got the opportunity to play some of the uh, bigger tournaments uh, the, on the HSBC BWF World Tour, especially some of the higher grade tournaments. And I think that she's uh, relished the opportunity and has learned an awful lot from it. Four. One. Well, so far, a very, very positive start for Mia Blickfeld. to challenge that. Yeah. yeah. I saw There's the other Iggy challenges go in. Correction. Yeah, we were both right. Line judge incorrect. Sorry, Zilda. It's a good Two, challenge. Four, play. Hey. Well, that's a very good attacking shot Three, from Yeet. Four. Who was a bronze medalist at Ten. this year's World at the European Championships. to play with Four. patience, Blickfield. It's amazing because at the start of the year, uh, she had a great start to the year. She reached the semi-final of the Onyx Thailand Open. She did. Beating the reigning world champion in the first round. Yep. Kusana Venkata Sindhu. 
time is over. Five all. There's another one missed. Service over. Six, five. There is no doubt if I was Leslie Ann, I would sort of think, okay, every single shot I get back, there is a chance that Blitford will make a mistake. Yeah. So um, I think the game, the game plan could be quite clear. Service over. Six, all. And I think that Yeet is a, a very good retriever anyway, isn't she, Morton? She is. Yeah. She is. And a good fighter on court. She lacks still, I think, a little bit of pace. Yeah. And not so many winning shots. Yeah. When you compare to the top eight players in the world. Yeah, no, that's a nice shot from Bridgefeld. Seven, six. Seven, it is four. rather erratic, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Well, I think it's very important when you play a shot like that, what Leslie Hunt is playing here, you have to follow up. The, the chance of a block shot is almost 100%. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a goodness me. Where on earth did that come from? was absolutely sensational. What a backhand. Oh, it was interesting, Nine, Morton, because you were eight. saying a, a moment ago that she lacks a bit of pace. Yeah. But I thought she was just trying to up the pace of that rally. <laughs> Didn't you think? Yes. Yeet? Yes. I, but it's just because I've seen her play against uh, PV Sindhu a few times. Okay. And uh, she is struggling to follow. Okay. But maybe that's something else she's she's learned and improved on. Most likely. Yeah. Most likely. Because this is a great anticipation so on yeah. top and reaching Nine. out, getting it very Four. early. And that's a great play. And Blickfield definitely have to work the rallies a little bit more. Coaching bench, oh, it's head coach. There's yeah, Kenneth. From the Denmark team, yes, Kenneth Donison. The most experienced coach. It'll be interesting if we get to hear what he says. 
because it'll be just as much about psychology, won't it? Yes. And the advantage, a two-point advantage at the mid-game interval, is with Nislihan Yeet of Turkey. I can't hear any of this at the moment. No. Well, so much for my prediction there, Morton. I, I don't think any of the chat there was about the psychology. It was all about shots and tactics, wasn't Shot it? Shot selection all the way through. Yeah. And that's wide. So it's over. 10, 11. Oof, yeah. now that's, yeah. I saw that There's as clearly the challenges yes. gold out. Real hesitation by the line judge, which always unsettles the players anyway. But <laughs> I have to say, I saw that as in. But yeah, me too. But you're so right. Every time there is a hesitation, then either party is lifting their hands yeah. straight away. Yeah, here we go. What does the instant review say? Yeah. Clearly in. Clearly in. So that's two challenges and Correct twice absolutely in. right from Miss Lehan. Yes. I know I said it before, but I still remember the time when we didn't have this uh, system, inst yeah. instant review system. And what a difference it's making. Yeah. 13, 10. Well, you've missed 14, the double sport. 10. Well, that's a good shot. Yeah. Well worked. So, Silva, 11, 14. You can do it, I can do it better. <laughs> and almost a blue carpet. Yeah. Thirteen. Well, a look from Nestle Han Neat to the service judge. She was convinced that that was too high. But no call. A big point. Yeah. That's just long. Yeah, that's long on the back line. The Fourteen back level. all. Fourteen all. Yeah. Three quick ones here for Mia Blakefield. That's a nice clear. And making very good use of these punch clears. <laughs> Nestle and Yi. 15, 14, 15. So five straight points for Mia Blickfeld. Yeah, that's a nice shot, isn't it? It's just inside the sideline. And interesting that uh, Blickfeld did not want to change the shuttle, but uh, umpire asked her to do it. Oh dear. Service oh. error each 
the cross court clear from Yeet so was nowhere near deep enough. 16, 15. I think the idea was right trying to get it cross court. She should just have tried to play it a little bit more flat. So almost a drive. Yes, and then the follow up. Yeah. Silver. Yeah, it's a lot oh. of cross court uh, shots from both the players. Standing to receive the serve awfully close to the centre line. Mm. Yeah. And no, she's much more central in the in the left in the left hand court. One even numbers. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's defense. good defence. Eighteen. 16. One have to say that Blickfeld is really gifting the, the points away at the moment. Oh. Well, I don't think the umpire is too happy with no. this. No, that's very understandable. Yeah. 18. Very opportune moment to have to redo the the hair when you just lost three points oh good defense so once again that Missed cross it. court Time is over 17 18. Dear, dear me. I don't think so anything so happened, but... Uh, 19, the ankle, 17. The ankle no, no, no. went, didn't it? And no. I think because she fell, it didn't completely go over. Yeah. yeah. Then it ended up more of a trip. Yeah. Yes, it did. Oh, did you see that? Yeah. yeah. It started to go, and because she fell, she saved the ankle. Yeah. Yeah. Well done in falling over, because that could have been nasty. Thank you. But it does mean that Leslie Han Yeet has a two point advantage and two points away from taking this opening game. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. 19, 17. I don't know what say is good umpiring. Yeah. You know, Tirabini is on the ball. Oh, nice change of angle from Nestle Han Yeet. Game point, 17. Wonderful defence there at full stretch, but this was clever. The obvious yeah. shot was straight down the line, but she chose to go cross court. The outright winner, and it's three game point opportunities. It's along on the back line. It's Mia, the challenge, challenge out. Now, waiting for the instant review to tell us for sure. Yeah. Here we go. Clear. 
clearly long. Yeah. 21-17, opening game in favour of Nesli Han Yeet from Turkey. Uh, against the number 13 seed, Mia Blakefeld of Denmark. It's a huge pity we're not hearing what Kenneth Jonasson wants to say. Yeah, the first part of the coaching was purely, again, on so shot selection and what to do, and Good the one, fact that Nesli Han is, uh, as Kenneth Jonasson is saying, is a counter-attacking player. Game to the goods. Nestle Han Yeet of Turkey. Second game. And the start for Bravo. Mia Blickfelt is going to be Play. even more important now. that backhand cross-court defence again. Yeah. Big foot got well out of that one. That's good play. Great rally. Yeah. Wonderful rally. That's good play. Well, and I can't help but ask you or, or think back to the World Championships when in 1999 when they were staged in Copenhagen yes. And the last Danish player, one of only two Danish players to win the women's singles goal, Camilla Martin, yes. was playing against Dayun in the final. Yes. And our friend and colleague, one. Steve Peterson, no. was coaching. Yes. And do you remember the coaching there? Camilla Martin said in the, dis I think it was the deciding game, uh, or, or certainly when it was very close, I think it was the deciding game, said um, she was feeling nervous or something. Mm. And Steve said to her on the coaching, well, you can pack up your bags and go home. You, you, don't, have, you, you don't have to play. Yeah. But if you want to win, yes. I suggest you do this. Yeah. And I'm just wondering, it was perfect coaching because it snapped Camilla Martin into stop thinking about your nerves. Yeah. This is what you've trained for. This yeah. is what you've wanted all your life. Yeah. And I'm just wondering whether nowadays there's so many more protocols that have to be followed by coaches and whether direct coaching like that would be seen as um, uh, in some quarters as bullying or something like that so that coaches fear being as direct as they were with, our, with us do you think do you think coaching has changed because to me uh, you know I obviously didn't understand we didn't hear everything Kenny Donaldson was saying but to me it's obvious that somebody needs to say something to Mia Blickfeld to snap her out of that, you know, oh, I've, you know, I've lost confidence and, and, and get her back. You're a great player. You, you're a very good player. You were called finalist last time. Yeah. You know, so, so more psychology coaching rather than just talking about shots. Yeah, but I, I'm 
I'm totally with you. I'm I'm a hundred percent with you, and I think, of course, it was great coaching by Steen, and um, and perhaps it was a little bit more direct in the olden days. But but I I would say had had it been me, I would have tried to pay more attention to that side of the game because it's got nothing to do with the shot selection. It's it's about the belief. Exactly, exactly. And and that's that's what it takes, and you you you've got to address it somehow. Oh, that's a good play. Sammy Silva, four, three. Well, we haven't had a point on serve in this second game so far, have we? Well, I've, no, I, we I was listening to you, so I, I must say that I, I didn't take notice. <laughs> yeah. And I was just about saying before, Again, if we look at it from Blickford's point of view, I would sort of play more straight shots because Nestle Hunt is, is always covering cross-court, cross-court, cross-court. So if Blickfeld wants to utilise that knowledge, I think, you know, go more straight shots. Silva, four, five. Well, she's a great fighter, Nestle Honey, I think. Yeah, yeah. And she's getting an awful lot back, and it's definitely frustrating her opponent. Well, you don't go reaching 32 finals in your career, winning 19 titles, unless you're a good fighter. No. And that's exactly what Yeet has done. But a lot of the lower grade tournaments. Yes, it has to be said. Yeah. There's never gone past a quarter final at what was the Super Series and now the HSBC BWF World Tour. Felt. Six, five. Yeah, and, and look at this. Try to look at the last one here. First, that one. What is she doing now? Going Straight. across. Yeah, but she's going across to try to cover the next oh, one. Oh, yeah, exactly. You two were talking yes. about. Yes. Yeah. that some of the line judges who are doubling up as court attendants are not five. sort of mopping hard enough. They're just sort of moving the perspiration around the court service rather than really mopping it up. Five. Yep, she's going for the cross court backhand defence five. again. Eat. I think it's it's a, it's a program shot. Mm. It will come every single time. First or second time is working really well, but you can actually utilize your knowledge. 
Attack that backhand side and knows that it's coming cross court from the next. It's funny nine. because it's not 10 seconds ago, I was about to say. Blickfeld is not playing the same wild shots at the moment, and that's why she's doing so well. And 10 seconds later, this one is coming. Yeah, yeah. Move it on, it's another very yeah. ambitious shot. down the line. So it's over. Ten. Eight. So to the mid-game in interval with a three-point advantage, Mia Blickfeld. little bit so uh, Kiddo was saying if you smash around the backhand side that one is coming across every time yeah <laughs> <laughs> so I smiled a bit 11 eight. Tricky. This is a good shot from Nestle Hunt. I really like that. She's reaching it very early. It's tight and it's giving Blickfeld no option but to play what exactly what she did. Yeah, a bit of deception on the return One, of serve. Nine. to cross whether it's yeah. from her backhand side or forehand <laughs> side doesn't she she's playing a lot of crosses mm. well that's yeah. good yeah well played so it's over 
actually if it was the coach of uh, the Turkish player I would definitely focus a little bit more on her um, length leg strength yeah because I, I feel that she's very uncomfortable if she's got to stop and change direction and she needs to be able to take that little bit more in the legs um, but it would improve her game tremendously yeah Completely overdone. Yeah. The idea was correct. 11, 15. <laughs> Is that frustration? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Frustration from Nesli Han Yeet after that defensive shot. Seems to go both ways. Yeah. feet were when she played that smash inside the doubles line, double service line. Uh, not deep enough the shot from oh, east. That's wide. Yeah. So I'm not going to say anything. 18, no, 11. three game points away from a third and deciding game. But I will be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I will be surprised. Well, yeah, it was only 18-10 in the previous match in the yeah. men's doubles when yes. the Malaysians came back to win. Challenge here from Yeet. Yes, we have eight challenges called out. One she's got wrong. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Two points away from Sorry, the second game. 19, 12. Play. Service over. 13, 19. not the best of service it wasn't well. and I think she's trying to use the flick serve too often well, that's simply not being good enough quality so game point opportunities seven of them for Mia Blickville to level this second round match at one game apiece one game all 21 13, the second game. game by Mia Blickfeld, 21 13. 
One game all. One goal game all confirms the umpire. 39 minutes into the match. And everything still to play for. So here we go, third and deciding game. Final game, level, play. One, love. So I don't know whether you managed to catch any of Kenny Jonasson's comments. Actually not, because there was a what is it called? Stadium yeah, announcement? Public address. Yes, yeah. public address. And that's very loud in here, so it's it impossible is. to hear. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a lovely backhand. It is. Good block shot. So it's over. One. Oh. Serve it's always a weakness in the, in the singles when you're playing that backhand serve and standing as decisively as what Yigit was doing here. It's completely opening up that deep forehand corner and yeah. that was exactly what Bligford was playing. It's something that you have to be aware, aware of when uh, you, know, you play serves like that. Good net shot. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh don't believe it. Well, he says it's, it, it was down. Ground. Yeah, he says it's down. But we will see. I hope we'll see. Here we go. Thank you. Oh, oh. I don't think it's down. No, no, oh. why? I think that was a great save.
Happy Zelda. Three. Oh. Again, the hesitation the challenges of the mind judge. Out. And so it ended up that Leslie Hunt Yeats was making the challenge. Yeah. Either one of the players were going to yeah. challenge whatever. And it's out. So only one challenge, challenge left in this deciding game. One challenge remaining. Four, three, play. Well, given what you were saying earlier, Morton, I think that it's more important for Blickfeld to get a bit of a lead yes. to keep her confidence yes. up. If this is close all the way, then she's going to struggle. Whereas I think Yeats, even if she's down, she'll keep fighting. She's and a wonderful she, fighter. And she will still have a very good chance, but I think if... If it's not going the way that Blickfeld wants it to go, it's going to play on her mind. Yeah. And she will start playing wild shots and losing confidence. It's, it's not a wild shot, it's, it's quite unlucky, it's a good shot. Yeah. But, Five, you know, she cannot four. afford to make mistakes like that. No. But the recipe for Nestle Han must be Keep it in, keep it going, give your opponent an extra chance to make a mistake. Six, four. <laughs> She's trying everything to yeah. get it back. I <laughs> have to admire it. Yeah, absolutely. Control just inside the back line. Miss hit from Nestle and you get first and then that block shot in the net from Billickfeld. It was a complete miss hit. Is over. Yep. Seven, all it is. Four. That was long on the back line. Well left by Blinkfeld. She's really talking to herself. Some self motivation. Yuki Funiko, Miss Antimatsumoto, 
uh, she was hesitant. You know, Mick felt about whether she should play that or not, but I think it would have landed in. I think. Yes, it was definitely in. Once again. Uh, it is an amazing shot, but I, so, I so think that Tia Blickfeld really ought eight. to be looking for it now. But that she's been alerted by the coach, and we have talked and told her. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, you, you can actually play, uh, simply play that shot by just attacking the backhand side and putting yourself across because you know it's coming. Yeah. And then it's actually not the winner, it's not supposed to be the smash but it's actually supposed to be the next one where you can add on the pressure. Yeah. So it's just like a chess game, you've built it up. Short. Yeah, well played. Of course, not only just adding on to what you've just been talking Ten, about, there's eight. the psychology as well, because if you start waiting for and playing, inviting your opponent to play what they think is their best shot, yes. the cross-court block, and you just happen to be standing there waiting for it, the psychology then Always is, huge. is huge, because yes. your opponent's going to say, crikey, she's reading my best shot, yes. oh, what do I do now? Yep. And you just go tighter and tighter. Exactly. So, you know, it's not only the, phys the physical side of reading the shot, it's the psychological game, which is where your chess game comes in. Yes, absolutely. So a two-point advantage. She is holding that serve rather long, isn't she? She is. That's a lovely shot. Lovely angle from Blickfeld. Doesn't hold the serve Nine, quite as long as Christina ten. Peterson used to hold it. <laughs> oh, well, I think she, in that discipline, she was the, the world champion. <laughs> <laughs> yes. In, in women's doubles in holding the serve for a, an age. Yes. gone long. No, ten all. Ten all. Who's going to have the advantage at the change of ends? I think you can just as well flip a coin. Yeah. Yes. No one to know. rally and has the advantage at the change of ends, albeit just a one point advantage. But the psychology of being in front. Look at that. Look at that. Crikey, how did she get back up from that? Yeah, she kept asking the question, didn't she? Yeah kept it coming back and coming back and eventually Blickfeld is making a, an error on the smash.
Eleven, oh. What do you think it's going to come down to, Morton? Who is holding their nerves best? Yeah. can stay composed and I don't think I've seen her make the same mistakes as what she did in the opening game um, I think she's then got better shot quality than her opponent um, but I think if Yigit is clever she will just keep it going as much as she can just like this Play that extra One. shot the whole oh. time. Yeah. The shot that Blickford can't really do anything about. So if she's playing the back, then make sure there's height enough on it. And you know, yeah. don't force your shots too much. This drop shot was a very fine example of it. It was not fantastic. It was just downwards. Mm. And it was enough. Big, big point. Important. But it's interesting to see that Blickfeth is actually starting to relax her action on her well. shots. Costly. It's a cheap point for eat. Yeah, it's definitely gifted. Just quickly, just doubling. Thank you. Isn't it fantastic? Good spinning that shot from Blake Phelps. 
Yeah, the shuffle's upside down as it crossed over the net. Look at that. But that service return. It's not one of the best. Finds the line. a very very important smash yeah clearly yeah. so a run of three straight points to go back into the lead for me of Lickfeld 15 14 Challenging that, I don't think she'll win that challenge. It's out. And then she'll be out, out of challenges. This is court two. It's court two. Yeah, Hawkeye required on both courts at once. Court one and court two. What was shown in the arena here was court two here we go for court one clearly out not even close so no Challenge challenges left. Unsuccessful. no challenges remaining 16 14 that can't be decisive Play. yeah i think that was a very rash decision to challenge that one Well, it was four straight points and 15, 16. I think those were very important as far as Mia Blickfeld was concerned. Yeah. I think she's nervous, 15. don't you? I think so, and I think she took a shot that was out. I think that return from Blitfield, possibly out of the sideline. Oh, great dive. Oh, oh, don't believe it! <laughs> get up, get up. <laughs> <laughs> that is tremendous. That's what you call commitment. <laughs> Fantastic. Look at that dive. How did she play that? How did she <laughs> play that? Thank you. That is just ridiculous. Fabulous. Fabulous. 16. Scrambling. 17. <laughs> Get up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's commitment. Yeah. Right. Well, that's what uh, this is a very very entertaining match it is i must say 16 17 decided game that's a good return of serve and she was holding her nerves on that leave as well didn't she yeah 16. Going wide. Well, oh, this is far from over yet. Yeah, you know. 17, 18. Oh, that's a miss. My goodness 18, me, that could 12. be costly. 
once again, Clickfoot going for the attack straight down the line on that return of serve, and I think she did well. It's been working well for her. This time covered by uh, Yeet. Eighteen on deciding game. What? Yeah, that bounced. That did bounce. Yeah, no argument this time 14. from Blickfeld. Watch it, watch it. Oh. Uh, again, I wasn't so sure seeing it again. So, you're right, Morton. It is coming down to who can hold their nerve. Yeah. 1918. Good smash at the body. I haven't seen an awful lot of those in the second and third game. But I actually think that the clear from Blickford was quite clever. It was high and sort of buying a little bit of time, making sure that she was composed and in the right position and balance. So I think that was a good change from her. So the winner of this rally will have a match point opportunity. Yes. This is vital. That's an understatement. That's gone long. There's a challenge. I don't think she'll win that. The challenges I saw that as long. Yeah, but can you imagine if that had been called in? Yeah. No challenges left. A nervous wait. It is clearly long, challenge and therefore the match point opportunity is for Nislihan Yeet of Turkey. 20, match point 19. Well saved. So, Zilba, 20 all. That was a good rally. Yeah. Came off the frame of the racket that last shot from Yeet. And it's 20 all. And extra points required until there's a clear two point winning margin. Brilliant smash. So having saved 21, a match point 20. just a moment ago, now Mia Blickville has a match point herself. And I actually think that last rally was really well composed. Waiting for the right opportunity, making sure her shots were having proper length and all that. Amir Blickfeld has come from match point down. The number 13 seed from Denmark squeaks past Neslihan Yeet of Turkey in a thrilling women's singles. And now at nine minutes to win 22-20 in the deciding game. What a match. This is the final rally. The drive into the net from Yeet. Well, 
it's a pity when it's such a close contest there has to be a loser but that's sport for you an hour and nine minutes of pulsating badminton and look delights but also relief for me <laughs> Blickfeld. confirmation of that score line 17 21 21 13 22 20 in the deciding game coming from match point down to win so coming up next we return to men's doubles and it's go see faith and your is it in the number 14 seeds from malaysia up against scotland's alexander dunn and adam hall De los Deportes Carolina Marin, the venue for the 26th staging of the World Championships. World Badminton Championships started 44 years ago in Malmo in Sweden. Well, we've had nine matches, and this is our 10th match of 12. 